Hi, Internet, and more specifically, the homebrewing community. Today, I'm going to be doing a review and test of the MITBA uh, hydrometer kit that uh, they recently started selling. Uh, full disclosure, I got this kit for free from the company in exchange for doing a video review of it. And so, in order to be impartial. Uh, last time I was at the local homebrew store, I also picked up three of their default triple scale hydrometers. And I'll also be using uh, the plastic one that I got off the internet most recently to start using. So let's start off by opening this up. Comes with a brush for cleaning uh, your testing jar, which is a 250ml plastic graduated cylinder. Um, which will be nice because, uh, nice to have, so I've just been using the tube that my hydrometers have come in because I'm too lazy and cheap to bother buying my own graduate cylinder. Um, brush, plastic handle, assume it's bendable, yeah, formable to however you want it. We have a microfiber cloth for cleaning, got a nice case here, which is nice for shipping and nice for storage, I assume. Alright, in terms of build quality, I mean, you can only have so much glass in these things before they get too dense. Um, you can hear this one's a little higher pitch, which makes me think that uh, there's a bit less glass in there, maybe a bit thinner. Um, we'll see. I plan to do a drop test with all of these, assuming it survives the uh, heat shock test. All right, well, first things first that I'm not too stoked about. I'm glad that this comes with a graduated cylinder, but I wish they'd used a fully clear plastic. Um, on clear beers it'll be fine, but uh, on hazies or... Anyway, it'll be uh, a bit harder to read your measurement. Um, just that much more hazy. Alright, for our first test, I made some uh, 1.1 sugar water. Sucrose, table sugar, and uh, at work. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, as you might be able to see here, and as we all know as homebrewers, something started eating my sugar water because it took me way longer than I thought to make this video. And so I will take that back in and throw up another picture right here of the real density measured as of a day or two from now. All right, everyone, for the first round of tests, my tap water is just reaching 60F. Close enough. Right on the dot. 1.002. Homebrew store glass ones, calibrated for 68. 1.0. Well, number two, one, zero, this is number three, 1.002, 1.1, sugar water, and it is sitting at one, one, oh, four, plastic, at one one. Okay, about ready for the uh, homebrew store hydrometers. One is sitting about one dot one zero two. Number two is sitting about one dot one zero two as well. Again, one dot one zero two. 
I'm heating up water to, I think I'm going for 160 Fahrenheit to do a heat shock test. Just, uh, I don't know why you'd ever put a hydrometer in something like that, but it's worth a shot. And my kettle has reached a bit over 160. Number one of the homebrew store. Number two. Number three. And the MITBA. Alright. I don't know why anybody would put these in a 160 degree water, but they'll do fine. Alright, for this next test, um, I'll be dropping the hydrometers from increasing heights. Plastic can be brittle as well, so I'm going to include it in this, and I guess I'll uh, in the future use last man standing. So, don't want to break it right off the bat, so I'm going to start out small. Homebrew store number one. Store number three. Oh. Off the bounce. Well, I neglected to hit record, but the number two Humber store broke at one foot of drop pipe. Inches. Oh, bomber broke on the bounce off the neck. Just a uh, check from twenty six and a half with plastic. At the end of the day, it's plastic. It's not gonna shatter. So at the end of this, I'm actually pretty impressed at the resilience of this in terms of drop height and I think it all has to do with the fact that the weight in the bottom here is fully coated in uh, epoxy or whatever adhesive they have in there. The other regular brew store ones had uh, epoxy on the top but just loose beads of weight at the bottom which uh, doesn't give a solid backing. I think that's why it uh, really resisted and as I said before I think the glass is a bit thicker on these just from the sound of it. Um, I believe on Amazon currently the regular price is listed as $50. I don't think I'd buy a glass hydrometer for $50, uh, but I believe currently, as of this recording, the price is on sale at uh, somewhere around $15, $12. I'd pay that for including a grad cylinder and uh, the drop resilience of this. Not so bad.